Let's get started. Let's start our discussion about sectors of ICT and its careers and business opportunities in quarter one, week one, day two. Now, let's begin by identifying some key ICT sectors or careers. I'll present an illustration, and I want you to tell me which ICT sector or career each image represents. For the first picture, Yes. Very good. The correct answer is network technician. Next. Exactly. The answer is graphic designer. Next. You got it right. It is contact center agent. Next. That is correct. It is web developer. And the last. Excellent. The answer is animator. You've identified the sectors well. Learning objectives. First, present the result of a survey on ICT sectors available in your community. Second, examine skills and competencies related to ICT career and business opportunities. And lastly, appreciate the significant relevance of the ICT sectors in their future career or business opportunities. Now, let's go deeper. I'll present you with a graphic organizer. Take a moment to jot down your insights regarding the following words, drawbacks, benefits, wage, career, and qualification. Let's share our insights and understandings together. Now, look on this given illustration. What have you observed? In our society, people have different preferences when it comes to choosing career paths. They have two of the most popular career paths options, a job to be employed and a business to be the boss. Prior to making a choice, it is critical to understand the benefits and drawbacks of each option. Now, what is the difference between a job and a business in the context of ICT? A job is an employment arrangement in which a person works for another person or business. In exchange for their time and work, the employee receives a pay or wage. A business, on the other hand, is a legal entity that offers products or services in return for money. In a business, the owner assumes the financial risk and liability for the venture's success or failure. A job frequently has benefits, a set wage or salary, and a reliable source of income. This might provide those a sense of security who prefer stability over uncertainty. A career frequently provides opportunities for advancement which can lead to higher compensation and a more fulfilling employment. A business, on the other hand, may present a bigger opportunity for financial gain. You may manage your income as a business owner depending on how well the enterprise does. A sense of accomplishment and pride in one's achievements can come from running a successful business. Furthermore, having a business gives you more creative flexibility and the chance to follow your passions. The amount of responsibility involved in a job versus a business is another significant distinction. Your tasks as an employee are often restricted to those associated with your position. The employer is overseeing the company, making crucial choices, and accepting financial risk. You run your company on all levels, from money concerns to formulating business strategies. It may be necessary to make a sizable initial time and financial investment while starting a firm. 
You need a strong business plan, money, and the ability to assume risk. On the other hand, landing a job can be simpler and cost less upfront. But a job could also need a specific degree of education or experience, which can restrict the choices accessible. Now, I want you to think about the existing ICT sectors in your community. Take a moment to fill out the table for learning task number one. Step one from the list of ICT sectors, choose the one you are most interested in being part of. Step two, identify at least three professions in your chosen industry or ICT sector and the qualifications, skills, and competencies for the identified careers. You may search the information on the internet, job listings, or ask for help from a family member or someone in the same field of profession. Step 3. Copy and complete the activity on a sheet of paper. Here's the example. ICT sector or industry, computer programming, again, choose the one you are most interested in being part of. Then, on career or profession example, game developer. On the second column, qualifications, example, degree in computer science, software engineering, or a related subject such as physics or mathematics. And for the third column is the skills and competencies, example, excellent technical skills, including proficiency in the C, C Sharp and C++ programming languages, and knowledge of game engines. Creativity. A passion for video games. Wide-ranging knowledge of gaming trends. Problem-solving skills. Good communication skills. An analytical frame of mind. The ability to work as part of a team. And for the task questions. Task question 1. Do you think you are fit with the necessary qualifications of your chosen career based on your own skills and competencies? Explain. Task question 2. Did the activity help you evaluate your chosen future career in ICT? How? Task question 3. What significant realization did you have after having this activity? Task question 4. Now that you have learned about the qualifications of the different career opportunities in ICT, would you like to pursue it? Why? Task question 5. Would you like to change the career choice you had earlier? What other factors might cause you to change your chosen career in the future? Task question 6. Why do we need to analyze career and business in ICT? You will be graded with this given rubric. For your performance task entitled My Future Self, Draw a future self-portrait of one's chosen career or business opportunities related to ICT. Do this on short bond paper and color it. Write a short essay describing your future self and what helps you to be more certain in choosing a career in ICT or an ICT-related business. Here's the example template for your performance task. You will be graded with this given rubric. For today's reflection, how does this lesson help you to evaluate what ICT career or ICT-related business you are going to pursue in the future? Write your answer on your TLE notebook. As we conclude today's lesson, I encourage you to reflect on the diverse ICT sectors we've discussed and the myriad of opportunities they offer for your future. Remember, the world of ICT is vast and ever-evolving and your potential within it is limitless. Thank you for your participation, and I look forward to seeing your future self-portraits and essays. Goodbye class.